Okay, so hello everyone. So some of my subscribers have asked me that maybe I should consider trying to make a tutorial on how to do modeling. So I guess here it goes. So basically, uh, for my example, in this video, I'm going to try and um, copy the armoring or texturing pattern I gave my King Arthas model to the knight model. So, again, uh, I'm using uh, the Warcraft 3 model editor by Magos. Okay, so first things first, let's save this data as a new file. Oh, so uh, uh, before we begin, this is my night model. So basically what I did is it's already combined the portrait with the in-game model. So basically any changes I make to this model is already reflected in the portrait as compared to the original model within the uh, in-game files okay so first things first let's save it as a new data so let's call it knight silver hand version one that mdl okay so so uh, the number the main textures i used for my king artus model are the um here the captain and the user texture so you can find this at the mpq browser go to the warcraft 3.mpq so under units humans you will find user so uses texture and then you will find under the folder the captain the captain okay so here you go this is the skin used by Uther and this is the skin used by the captain so basically those are the skins I mainly used for my King Arthas model now okay so mind you the models used by Blizzard uses the so-called .mdx um, file type but uh, for the other uh, model uh, what do you call this the vertex editor we need to um, convert the file to the .mdl file type so again this is the MDL vertex modifier oh by the way um, the links for this um, programs are in the description okay so anyways so let's open it oops let's go to nights nights okay so you will be asked to look for geosets I'll just explain as I go uh, anyways so you have basically it says that this model has 10 geo sets and we're going to look for the geo set that represents the body of the rider okay so as you can see here basically um, the first geo set basically represents the geo set containing the rider so if you go back to the Magos model editor and hold control and then left click there you can see it's basically says that that's one geoset and it happens to be the first one so after opening this G, uh, this geoset in the MDL vertex modifier let's save geoset and then let's uh, hmm, let's use it dummy MDL okay now after saving a save geoset immediately be saved but this time save as dummy okay so after which open the file again dummy so okay, as you can see uh, it automatically goes to this geoset and then if you hold control then press a and click vertex selection you will see that the rigging is preserved now if you were to open this dummy file in the magos model editor you will see that basically this is the part of the model that has been separated from the rest now we only want to edit the rider so what we're going to do now is we're going to the delete the portions of the horse so again, go back to the MDL vertex modifier, dummy, then click, 
then we're going to delete the portions representing the horse leaving only the rider okay I save now I'm going to reopen it see now the night so as you can see here dummy now only represents the rider now let's go back to the original model the one night silver hand version one first now this time we're going to do the opposite we're going to delete the human portions delete 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 hmm Hmm. Okay. Okay. And then save. Now open the original file, Night Silver Hand. So as you can see the night is no longer present so what we're going to do is we're going to bring back this portion piece by piece while making the edit so that the armor would look like uh, rather look similar to the one with the Arthas Menesil King okay so first things first now, in my Arthas King model, or King Arthas model, um, the gloves already use the same texture as the knight. So technically, we can separate the portion. Okay, and then we're going to delete the rest and then we're going to save this as a new file and then let's call this gloves always make sure you always use save as and then if we go back to the um, first geo set of the night model we're going to merge geo set and then click on gloves so if we open the file again you will now see that the gloves have been returned again because, again, because we're not going to change it for this example so next now that it's back in the model you can delete it and then you can go back to the dummy oops go back to the dummy and now you can delete the arms because we no longer need it the arm portion can now be deleted in the dummy file now since we're not going to edit the head we can i suppose bring it back as well so let's focus on the head now we're going to delete the rest of the body but keep the head okay, let's save this head dot mdl so we're going to delete the body leaving only a head so head Uh, we're gonna delete the neck portion as well because if you notice in my King Arthas model the neck has been uh, kind of part armor ok 
okay so let's check the head again again now as you can see we can bring this back to the original model so knight silver hand so first geo set merge geo set head again you can open the knight silver hand model there so the gloves and the head have been returned but the rest of the body not yet so let's go back to dummy now we're going to delete the head because again we no longer need it Again, you can delete the head. Okay, so now the dummy is only composed mostly of the armor and the rest of the body. Hmm. Now, if you look at my model, um, the size of the pauldron also. Um, kind of resembles what I did with the King Arthas model anyway so I guess we can bring that back but first I suppose we can start with the actual changing of the armor so first things first let's start with the pauldron dummy okay so let's okay and then we save that as a new file hmm, let's call it poidro let's put poidro team color trust me on this one for now and then save now if you reopen the poidro team color so as you can see here we have the poidro now this time we're going to rewrap it so if you hold control and press left click, you will go to the materials and then so you have night. We're gonna put cup uh, the texture for the captain instead. Set it to blend and then create new uh, for team because it's team colored. Put replaceable ID one unshaded. Then move the replaceable ID one upwards so that. The captain texture is below okay so then save now what we're going to do is we're going to do what we call a rewrap so again we open the poldrum team color and then go to UV mapping and then load image so I've already prepared it um, so in order to extract these images um, go to textures click the texture you want to extract export then save it as a jpeg file okay okay as you can see here so as you can see here this is the pauldron part what we're going to do is we're going to make it similar to the pauldrons of making art as model so for example okay <coughs> excuse me uh, So you have three boxes here so basically the pauldron this is the pauldron at um, different points of view so this is from the top this is from the front and this is from the side so what we want is basically so you can choose how to remap it initially let's use the top then remap so as you can see it's similar to the top from the top that's how it looks like now we're going to reorient the pauldron and then since it's kind of like a mirror image what you're gonna do is we're going to put this one here and this one here now, now in the captain 
texture this portion originally pertains to the shield of the captain model but for this one we're going to use it as the um, texture for the pauldrons so we're gonna adjust it as much okay so let's take a look save changes then save now let's take a look at it how it looks like okay so nice kind of resembles like the one in the king artist model so we're gonna leave it at that for now okay so let's go back to dummy pauldron is done so get rid of it okay so let's hmm let's go for the basically let's go for the sides of the pauldron so basically this area because it's uh, again it's basically see this the side of the pauldron we're going to bring it back to the um, original model or rather the new model rather so let's it. let's save it so instead of pauldron team color let's save it as pauldron save now if you open it so this is the portion yes this is the side of the pauldron so we're going to bring it back to the new model right silver hand Again, double check. Knight silver hand. There. We're going to add the uh, different pieces of armor later successively. Okay. So for now, we're only going to bring back the original portions of the armor. But for the ones where we uh, change the textures, we're going to add them later. Okay. So go back to dummy and we can now delete the um, sides of the pauldrons. Okay, so I wonder um, which part do we edit next? Hmm, let's go for the um, boots. Oh, let's go for the boots because um, if you go to my Arthas model, it actually shares the same texture as the pauldrons or rather the front part of the boots as you can see here if you hold control and press left click you will notice in my artos models that the um, pauldrons belong to the same geo set as the uh, as the mesh of the um, front portion of the shoes so what we're going to do is we're going to take it and then gonna chop it then save it again hmm. let's save it as a shoes shoes I guess um, so I only want the front portion so how do I do that? Hmm. Hmm, I'm gonna do a bit of a trick here that I've been doing but basically what I'm gonna end up with is only the front portion of the shoes so basically save okay so basically now i'm stuck only with the front portion of the shoes now to rewrap it 
um, okay so basically this is the shoe part and this is the place where I want to wrap it hmm okay so there I'm going to put it here then wrap it here okay <coughs> excuse me So save. Okay, since the shoes share the same um, texture as the pauldron, we can combine them. So pauldron team color merge geo set shoes. Okay. Now if we look at it, pauldron team color. Okay. See there. So kind of resembles the one with my King Arthas mod. And basically, it's the same um, shoe texture for the Captain model as well. Okay, next. What we're gonna do is... Hmm. We can now go... We can actually delete this. Okay, let's go back to dummy. Now let's go for the rest of the shoes. So let's go back here. So this time we no longer need the front portion because we've already done it. Now save it as shoe. Now if we open shoes, so we what we have is the um, f uh, back portion and the sole. Now, first things first. Um, it also uses the texture of the captain, but this time it's not team color. So basically, let's just replace it with from the knight. Let's replace it with the captain, and then we're going to make adjustments. Shoes. Okay, for the um, for the back portion of the shoes, yeah, this one. Uh, the, let's separate it from the soles. Okay, we'll go back to the soles later. Okay, so this is this portion represents the back of the shoes of the captain model. Okay. So we can adjust it. Hmm. Okay, then save. Now for the um, soul portion, I'm gonna do another trick here. Hard to explain, but basically. Oof. Anyways. I'm gonna have to save the souls. Okay, let's go for soul.mdl. What I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up the triangle representing the soul so I can wrap it better with the texture. So basically. Whoops. Now let's merge it.
Okay. Now if we go back to wrapping, this is for the remember this is for the souls. Um go for top remap. So as you can see here. No. Hmm. Let's go for this part. Um so this is a mirror image, so let's go here. And then let's put it here. Okay, so let's take a peek how it looks like. So, okay, so not bad. Let's combine it with the shoes from before. So let's delete, delete the original soles, add the sole, and then save. And then open up the shoes. Okay. Okay, not bad. Okay, so we're basically done with the shoes. We can delete it from the dummy model. Now, let's go for the neck. Now, as you can see here, the neck shares the same texture as the shoes so might as well include it okay so first let's delete the sole <coughs> so so we have the shoes pauldron team call and then the dummy let's go for the neck next dummy let's take the neck portion and then save it as neck Okay, so now we have the neck. Mm, so basically, for making artist model, the neck portion uses the helmet portion of the texture. So basically, left. And then orient it as this. Rotate, rotate, rotate. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this portion. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So this is the portion of the neck. So. And then save again you can save again and then uh, save so save this neck. go back to shoes then merge it with the neck and then open back in magos model editor and shoe. so see now it resembles that of the uh, King Arthur's model. Okay, so you can delete the neck. And then if you go back to the MDL vertex modifier, you can delete the neck from the dummy. Okay, save. Now, for the dummy model, well, the rest of the body if you notice for my king artist model most of the body uses the um user texture so basically we might as well replace it now so go to let's use the color uh team colored version so replaceable id one unshaded put it on top and then for the uh texture below use outer and then use blend okay okay 
Hmm. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna take a break for a while. Okay, then we'll resume immediately. Okay, so we're back. Uh, sorry for the delay, but um, basically I realized that the first part of this video was already 30 minutes long. So basically I decided to process the video so that while I'm continuing as of right now, um, the, vid the first part of the video is already uploading uh, in YouTube and the my other sites. Anyway, so let's get back to, well the dummy portion so now we're going to um, edit Z uh, main body of the Anna uh, basically I just realized that maybe um, there's no major difference in the arm so uh, let's go to dummy what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to use the original textures of the arm portion so I'm gonna delete here whoops delete this Okay, so arms. Dot MDL. I go back to the um, night silver hand and then give back the arms. So there's not gonna be much difference anyway so might as well use the original now if we go back to dummy we can delete that portion there. so save Anyways, let's wrap the main body. So let's load the. Oh, so I haven't extracted the user. So user texture export. Is that JPEG? Oops. No. So. Okay, so we're gonna extract this. That JPEG. Okay. So best way to start with this is just remap it from the front. Okay. Hmm. I think it's, it would be best for this case to just use the right side since it's basically just a mirror image anyway or not anyway. hmm. oh, uh, so we have to use both sides anyway so we need to make the necessary adjustments click 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 Hmm. Let's clean up here. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, so let's raise this a bit. Hmm. 
let's take a peek. Save. Okay, just a few more adjustments. I guess. Hmm, we need. To, we need. To, hmm. We need to adjust the front portion of the legs from the back portion. Okay. Hmm. So first, let's take the leg portion, or rather the side por thigh portion. Done to. Again, I need to separate the um, back mesh from the front mesh, so I'm gonna do another trick here. Delete. Okay. And then delete. Then I'm going to texture so first i'm going to texture the back portion so the back portion belongs here oops deselect deselect and then there now for the front portion Save it first. Okay, so the front portion is the left side. Okay. Oops, messed up here. Made a switch rule there. Okay. Okay, okay, so we merge it back with the original done. And then save. Let's see. Okay, nice. Now we'll just make a few more adjustments.
I'm gonna clean up a bit here. Check again. Hmm. Okay. Excuse me. Hmm. So let's check. Hmm. Oops. Bit of a funky wrapping there. Okay. okay. The back portion is good, but hmm, not so here.
Okay. So looking good. <coughs> Excuse me. So I guess that's it. Uh, oh, wait. We need to separate. Uh, so we need to separate the um, team colored part from the non team colored part. So we're going to make the non for the non team colored part. We're going to delete this portion. And then let's use this. Ah, that is the dummy too. Let's see. okay so this is the portion which is not team colored so that would we would leave the original done as the team colored part i'm going to delete the lower portion okay okay so if we check okay so this is the team colored portion okay so what we're gonna do next is we're now going to add the pieces piece by piece uh, add the pieces one at a time to the model okay so first things first let's open the knight silver hand model okay and then hmm let's add the uh hmm let's add this portion first okay so under materials create a new one user uh, leave it at that okay so this is it unfortunately materials are added at random so you need to pay attention now let's look at the nodes so we're going to attach the uh, basically we're going to attach all new um, geo sets towards the guts zero uh, guts zero zero doesn't really matter because we're going to replace it later okay so recall second material 718 so under geo set import oops wait that's extra so basically control uh, hold control then left click then geoset export then save doesn't matter uh, the name doesn't matter also then um, when you import it attach it to the basically can attach it anywhere but so that we'll find it easier later just got zero zero and then the second material so there it is the main body now next what we're going to do is we're going to add <coughs> excuse me oh wait oh before we proceed um so we've added a new geo set now for that geo set we need to add the appropriate geo set animation so you need to uh, look for the geo set animation of the original geo set so this is the original geo set you need to look for the original geoset animation okay here it is oops so again click this this is the new geoset we're going to add a new geoset and then for the alpha make sure you copy that portion there so basically the geoset animation determines when your geoset appears so for example during the decay bone that geoset does not appear now let's add the team colored portion so that's the first dummy okay so geoset export and then save now for the team colored portion 
go to materials again create new replaceable id1 unshaded okay and then for the bottom uh, for the second texture pusher and then blend and then okay then pay attention which one it is okay the first one okay then we're going to add it again again use guts as a reference point got zero zero and then first material okay so again there it is so again our model is now shaping up a bit although some parts are still missing so again after adding the geoset make sure you add the appropriate geoset animation basically the same geoset animation as the original geoset okay now what we need is the shoes and the pauldrons let's see oh here it is hmm, let's go with shoes first oh by the way it's also the neck portion okay so export okay so exported now let's make a material for the captain texture here it is captain and then what is so the last one okay so then let's add another one attach it to guts zero zero okay so um okay there it is the back portion and the neck the shoes uh, back portion of the shoes and the neck portion and then we're going to give the set geoset animation okay and then finally the rest of the shoes oops it's part of the pauldron pauldron team color there X geoset export save now afterwards um, what will do? oh yes team color placeable ID and shade the captain blend then take note which one oh here it is 938 again import geoset oh no wait guts zero zero and then add 938 okay there it is then finally for the geoset and then save i don't wait um g set so c608 okay there okay so we're not yet done so basically all the necessary parts are in but now we have the issue of rigging so as you can see here the parts are not yet rigged properly so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the Knight Silverhand model. So if you remember in the uh, beginning of this video, there were only 10 geosets, but now there are 14. So basically this for, uh, the additional four geosets represent the parts which we added. For example, if you go here, 11, so this is the main body armor so what we're going to do is if you view it under view matrices you have zero so what we're going to do is add matrix zero zero then cancel this isn't really necessary what i'm doing but it's going to be much easier looking for um these sections uh, you'll see later so add zero zero then go to switch geoset and then let's go to 12 again 
add matrix, zero, zero, then cancel. If you look at view matrix, you now see it. For the uh, next geo set, again, add zero, zero. Look at, uh, check under the view matrix. And then finally, the last geo set, geo set 14. Zero, 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 cancel. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is, we're going to fill up these matrices with the matrices of the original, uh, what do you call this, the original geoset, the first one for this model. Now, if you look under view matrices of the original geoset, you have this very long set of numbers. So, for example, it starts with 17. Okay, so basically these numbers refers to the bones. And you can see the bones under the node manager in Magos Editor. So you can see here. For example, uh, how do I explain it? Well, basically, for example, this bone refers to the um, back, um, what do you call this? Uh, the back right leg of the horse. So for example, this refers to, uh, this bone refers to that. Anyways, so save uh, oh i mean so take note so the first number in this matrices is 17 okay then save then i uh, you need to open it so here you have the file you need to open it in notepad okay now uh, find that section um, bracket and then 17 and then bracket and then so basically this portion in the notepad refers to this portion what we need to do is to copy this portion and then overwrite uh, if you go back to the next geoset we need to copy this portion and overwrite it here so that's why we added this zero zero so that we can find it easier so copy this section starting from the groups part then go to up to here including this bracket then copy that then look for this region so okay zero zero okay oops wrong okay here it is so this portion refers to this portion we need to copy this over here and then look for the rest so there are four new geo sets so we need to copy it over there copy it over there and then finally the last one copy it over here save and then when you reopen the model go back to 11 you can now see the matrices now has the same matrices as the original geoset now we're not yet done what we're going to do now is we're going to um merge uh, re-import the uh geoset so if you select all this and then check vertex group selection it only has zero so what we're going to do now is we're going to merge the geoset from the original, uh, not original, from the um, uh, separate part. So for example, remember that this portion refers to the dummy, dummy, or rather dummy 2. So merge geoset dummy 2. Okay. Now what you're going to do is right after you merge the uh, load uh, rather what right after you merge the geoset from dummy to click invert selection and then if you uh, move the uh, you can move the uh, selected portion by holding right then uh, holding right then moving the mouse and then releasing the right button you can see there so this is the um, original portion if you look at the vertex group selection it's only zero so delete this oops delete this now if you select over the uh, merge G, uh, 
the parts that were added by a merge geo set and then um, vert check vertex group selection you will now see this um, vertex groups okay now for example uh, go to the 12th geo set well one way to make it so that uh, it's not really confu uh, less confusing so this is the you only have vertex group selection zero again you can move it down hold the right button right mouse button move it then merge geo set so remember this refers to the dummy okay so the new portions added via the merge geo set has the appropriate um, vertex groups this vertex groups refers to this matrices and the matrices refers to the bones of the model again confusing if you're not really used to uh, the basics of modeling yet then you need to delete the original um, geosets which don't have vertex groups and then finally go to uh, again move this so it's less confusing merge so this refers to the shoes invert selection and then finally again you can move it so you know the new ones added merge to set so this is the pauldron team color and then finally there and then delete the original portion and then save now once you open this model crossing my finger now oops let's see if he works hmm oh there it is so it works so basically we now have a knight for the silver hand okay we're not done yet <laughs> just a few more touches so <coughs> excuse me so as you can see here we have the knight silver hand we need to save it as a .mdx file and then afterwards open the so-called matrix eater so the matrix eater uh, it's another program it basically gets rid of unused uh, vertex uh, unused matrices so for example in this uh, geoset recall only the uh, vertex groups for these numbers are used so the matrix eaters is going to delete all the unused numbers here now this is very important because any uh, if there are any unused um, matrices it's going to cause a bug uh, in game although you won't be able to see it in the model to, uh, model editor itself unused mate uh, unused matrices are going to cause bugs once you use the model within the game itself okay so open it so where is it here it is knight silver hand version one okay and then save as and then that's it now we're going to import the model and then where is it here it is knight silver hand and then save and then let's go to the object editor hmm. again let's make a new knight and then under uh, editor suffix let's add silver hand okay hmm and then under model file oops under model file go look for the here it is knight silver hand so let's compare it save so this is your original knight and under custom is your silver hand knight okay now I'm going to test this model in game. Hey 
And so now I'm testing my Silverhand Knight model in game. Command me. Yes, my lord. Command me. For the king. I swear it. Yes, my lord. Command me. So, I have hope you've enjoyed watching me doing how I basically do stuff. Whew. So, that's it. So based on uh, I've seen uh, the video so basically I've done all of this in about a little more than an hour anyway so I hope I hope other uh, people if they uh, think they have a feeling maybe they want to get into modeling maybe I really hope uh, this video could uh, help them a bit I guess so uh, that's it for this video, uh, hopefully I'll be able to make another tutorial video like this and hopefully it will be uh, more better, or rather better. So that's it for now.